Uh, yes, hello. Uh, my full name is Guðmundur Hallgrímsson. You can call me Mundi. It's, kind of, it's the end of the first name. So, uh, I'm a, I mostly work as a fashion designer, uh, but I also do a lot of other stuff. I've done a lot of paintings and graphic design and performances and movies. Uh, most of this, though, I haven't studied at all. I haven't studied making movies. I, I actually I did a short film up, uh, uh, t about two years ago and, and uh, with a full crew and everything. And I hadn't studied it. And even though uh, I hadn't done it, I still somehow managed to make it happen. And it came out quite well and, and got a lot of, of press and it went all around the world. But I, again, also my fashion design, I've, I've done, I'm, I'm now working on my 10th collection. So that's probably about a thousand different pieces of clothes. <laughs> and that I didn't study either. So somehow this naive take on, you know, all these creative paths I've decided to go down has helped me in some weird way. Uh, so, the topic that Ted sent to me, or like that, I don't know if Ted is a person or not, but <laughs> <laughs> they sent me <clears throat> this topic, can artists help businesses? So, I thought this would be a perfect chance to use my, I don't know, kind of naive take on things and, and see if businesses, or, or that if I could somehow come with, with a, with an, <laughs> you know, a help for businesses, but I don't know anything about business, you know, it's a, all I know is going down the drain, that's, <laughs> uh, and, you know, so, well, well, if it's going down the drain, if all the economy is going down the drain, like, how are we gonna, how am I gonna help the businesses? without saving the economy first. <laughs> yes, yes, you might think a man like me can't save the economy. <laughs> but give me a chance to prove you wrong. For me, the economy is like a black cloud that hovers above us and steps on our shoulders and kicks us in the face, you know, and keeps us behind bars and we're slaves to, to it somehow. Um, What's wrong with it is it's, it's controlled by people we don't know, cor big corporations. Um, yeah, big corporations. Uh, money itself, we can't even blame. Somehow we blame that money itself is, is an evil thing, but it's not. It's, it's just a, a piece of paper and some coins. It's, it's not that money is evil, I think it's more that we're using it somehow in the wrong way. Banks are, you know, shit, they, they... <laughs> and I don't even know why, why we use them. It's why, why do we need those banks? If, if, if we, you know, if we have our money, why do we put them into a bank and then someone in the bank takes your money and he goes and he invests in something else, which maybe, you know, maybe is gonna deliver profit back into the bank. You know, and then the bank people are happy, but doesn't really deliver anything to you. You know, but people don't have a choice. They, that's the only thing that you, where you can save your money. You, you, you're not going to keep it in a chest under your bed or in a, under your pillow. So people are very confu uh, confused, and they don't really know, I think, you know, what to do. And. This is where my idea starts, you know, building up. I'm thinking, what if, you know, this is uh, actually something else. These are like, you know, someone said to me once that every person in the whole world would get a million dollar idea every day. So, I mean, a rough estimate means that six billion ideas are going down the toilet every day. Which is terrible, but, you know, what are we going to do? We, we can't... What are we going to do about our ideas? Can we, can we, you know, build up a business? Well, to build up a business, you need um, 
you know, an investor. And investors think about profit and, you know, they're not going to help. They're just like the big corporations, you know. They're, they're like, you know, we don't know who they are. We don't know where they are. Are you going to go to, like, the next chic uh, restaurant and sit down in your suit and, like, spot him out and say, hi, I have a great idea. You should invest in it. No. <laughs> It's never going to work, you know? So we're, we're confused. We don't know where to put all our ideas. And so we can't feed, you know, our societies of innovation, which, which we should have. Also, it's, you know, a lot of these ideas, they, they, they uh, you know, they, they come from a place which isn't maybe so comfortable. For, for example, if we, if we talk about ideas concerning oil, there's, I mean, I, I'm an internet freak. I, I'm always on the internet, reading all the hot stuff. And, you know, I've, I've read about all these tons of ideas that could have saved the, the, the oil industry. But, you know, nothing has really come through. There's no real answer to the oil problem. And, and, and why is that? I mean, then I read on and on, and of course, I get to the point when I'm reading, yeah, I mean, of course, the oil people, they have all the money, so they buy the ideas, and they put it in the back pocket, you know, and wait for the oil to finish, or, or they, 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 they just don't want it. They don't want it to, you know, ruin the business, I guess. So, what we are left with is a, a terrible situation. We're at the, at the brink of, there's, there's so many problems, I can't even start, you know, and, and our, not even our, our economy is the worst. We're, we're having global warming, we're having, you know, people want to, you know, just, what are we going to do? It's a terrible, terrible situation we're in. And if we can't fix this, I don't know if we can survive on this planet anymore. I'm sorry, it's true. So, I bring to you a new age. <laughs> I call it the net political age. It's, it's, uh, it's a new way of... of thinking about our society. So, bear with me here. Voting, for example, is a very complex thing to do. You have to get up early on like a Saturday night or Saturday morning, <laughs> which is, doesn't make any sense for me at least because I'm usually very hungover and sleeping in. And you have to go to some like really disgusting classroom you know, and there's these old women looking at you. And, and, and you know, you're writing, you're in, in some kind of a cage, you're writing your decision and no one can see you. Why isn't this online? The internet is, is making, it's, it's an it's a ongoing database of the entire human race. It's, it's not even only that, it's also, I mean, you, you, you have the information at your fingertips, every information you want, every knowledge. So we're, we're somehow becoming like a super human, somehow. You know, like, a, like our mind is connected to the rest of the minds in the world, which is amazing. But we're not taking full advantage of it. So, to do this kind of, the, to do this net political age movement, we need to start by putting everything online. We're, we're, and I know, I mean, there's some maybe people in this, in this room that are not really as familiar with the internet as I am. But <laughs> I, I can tell you, everyone that's younger than me definitely knows everything I'm talking about. The, the young generation, like has been mentioned a lot of times here before, it knows so much about the internet that I'm freaked out just by my little brothers watching them play computer games. You know, it's crazy, their skills and, and, and everything they know is, is equal to my knowledge. So, you know, the internet really has something that we're missing out. And to start it out, we need to take our revenues back from these black holes which which happen when, when like, like say if I have a hundred million, then I can't possibly 
you know, be, be in any bad situation. I, I put my 100 million into a bank and it just, you know, makes 10% profit every year or every month or whatever. And so, you know, I, I get so much money back, you know. Where is this money coming from? You know, who is, who is giving me money for owning 100 million? I shouldn't get more money for owning 100 million. But so I present a new bank. <laughs> yes, this is where it gets heavy. <clears throat> a bank which I, I would like to call the social bank. And we put it all online. We, we own, we each of every one of us owns our own private bank. And we can borrow to whomever we like, and we can get loans from whoever we like. We can also put our money into pools of, of, of profiteering and investment. And voila, we're, 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 we're free of this middleman who's taking like all this, all this percentage. So for, because not only this guy who owns the 100 million gets, you know, 10% profit, but also the bank makes a huge profit of all these different loans. And that money is escaping right out of our hands into these black holes, I like to call them, because like, if you, the richer you become, the more powerful you become, you, you, create these, uh, yeah, you create these black holes, because power and money it sucks more power and sucks more money into you. So, you know, there's no end to it. It's like our galaxy is, is full of black holes, and they just keep on sucking in, and there's even these theories that, in the end, Everything is going to be sucked into black holes. And the black holes are going to suck themselves in together. And there's nothing left. <laughs> that we don't want to happen. And we also, we, we have never been in this state. We've never been here before. That's why I think the, the comments that I usually get when talking about this idea is that, yeah, that can't be done. And like, what are you talking about? You don't know shit, you know. You, we have never, <laughs> we've never been here before. We're at the frontier of our time. We just got the internet, you know. It's, a, it's our newly born leader, our internet. And it hasn't been here to help us out. Like, in the, yeah, they did it in the Middle Ages and it didn't work. What are you talking about? They, they didn't have the internet. That's, that was missing. Now we have it. And we can use it to save us, you know. We can do business with each other, you know. You wanna, and, and what the internet does too is that it creates a pool of people. So you could have 100,000 people invest one dollar and you, voila, you have a business. This is how our kind of situation is today. <laughs> nah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So we have the rich at the very top, the smallest triangle, and the middle class there right below, and then the poor. I mean, this is something we want to look more like this, you know. Obviously, you know, I, I, we, we can't just erase the poor. I, I had to, you know, some people are just lazy, and now we're going to make any money, and they'll just keep on being poor. But, you know, we can at least decrease, you know, the amount. So I'm talking about a calculator online that calculates your loans or your debts or whatever you want, but it's neutral. It's not, it's not playing with your money. You're not, you don't put your money onto account and then um, someone takes it and invests it in something else and then that crashes and he says, oh, well, sorry. Yeah, the investment didn't go so well and, you know, so your money's gone. And you're like, what? I worked for this money. <laughs> How am I supposed to? So we need to have a frozen state on our bank accounts. And, and also what happens is that, oh, wait, that's good. <laughs> So we need to have a frozen state on our bank accounts and you need to be in control of your own income and, and what you want to invest in. And with this uh, system here, I'm trying to explain with this drawing, which looks like some psychopath got a pen. <laughs> but I'm trying to explain these kind of 
the straight routes that could happen is that people could, you know, they could, you know, invest one dollar into something and you create a business. They could, you know, but it's all their own choice. And, and they can, I can borrow you a money and borrow you some money. And the calculator, I say it's going to be, you know, 5% uh, interest and, you know, you have to pay me back in three months. So, what? Yeah, that's how it works. And then if we agree on that deal, the calculator takes care of the rest and he, you know, this is all really easy programming. This isn't something we're, <laughs> we have to do. We're, we're, fuck, we're, we're shooting rockets into the space. That's, that's complex. Computer games, I mean, that is even more complex than rocket science today. 3D environments, like, can we do this simple system of numbers? Is that going to be so hard? So uh, it's going to be like a, a Facebook bank, kind of. <laughs> and you, you get uh, reviews from people, you know, they give you stars, and, and you have your history and your property all on your profile. And it tells you completely how your situation is. And you can, you can totally get the, get, get the whole view of your economical situation. And there's nothing that can, you know, change that except yourself. So if you lose all your money, that's because you lost it yourself. So, you know, we, we, there's no one to blame. You know, we, we, we can't blame these big corporations anymore or these banks because they will slowly start to you know, lose their power, lose their big, big pools of cash, if this really takes over, you know, if all the people in the world, you know, own their own cash, and they say, well, I don't want to invest in your big oil bullshit company, I want to do something else. So we'd have these kind of markets, you know, uh, uh, like a Twitter page, and there, you know, you could say, uh, I need a 2,000 kroner loan just for Friday. And someone goes, okay, well, you're going to pay me 3,000 back. And you go, okay, whatever. And, you know, voila, we, we, we're, we're easing up this flow of, of money, which definitely isn't working today. Because it's really hard to move big amounts of money. And you need a lot of paperwork and blah, blah, blah. And, no one really understands it. I don't even think the banking people really understand. They're, they're there at the meeting and they, you're talking about a big investment. They're going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what you're thinking is like, does he really know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Companies could have their profiles on there as well. You know, they could line out their, their employees and they could just use the calculator to... Uh, you know, pay off the salary of the company, take care of all their booking problems and all their, you know, they, they could see all this development. This can't be done with simple numbers. They do it in Excel all the time, I've seen it. <laughs> also, what this could do is it could put power to the masses, and that's what's really important. Now, the masses really doesn't have any power. I mean, there's the voting, which I mentioned earlier, which is this terrible experience everyone has to go through in some point of their life. A lot of people ignore it. I admire them a bit, you know, for their ignorance. But I admire the people who vote more. I mean, they want to say something. But with, with, uh, with, with an online, an internet, with the net political aids, where everything is online, nothing is left outside, and so, well, everyone is equal on the internet. So if you have a, if we have this bank, say, you know, who should own this, this bank? You know, who should own this, the world online bank? Well, the people themselves should own it. No one should actually own the bank. The bank is always going to make some kind of a profit, and it should just get votes for what to invest in. So we could create an entirely new way of thinking about how to create a new business, because usually when you create a new business, you need to think, number one, yes, I need profit. That's where I can get my investors interested. But that shouldn't be the only thing that should be able to create a business. With this system, you could say, I have the greatest ethics in the world. And if people believe in it, they will vote for it, and it will rise. 
And the bank, the World Bank, will then invest in it. <laughs> yes, we're all going to be rich. <sighs> I believe that the human race is, hasn't reached its goal in, in, in our societies, and I think that we can actually move on and we can, we can actually become these superhumans that we're, we're trying to become with the internet and and we're just, we're just really confused with all this, all this control and the, all this power that's controlling us. But why, why does it control us? Why aren't we... We're, so, we're the majority. We're the 99%. We should be able to take things and matters into our own hands. Let's not uh, let money you know, be the bad one here. It's not the money that's the bad one. It's how we use it. Thank you very much. <laughs>